Hey guys, this is Kaliga Six, aka Raymond. Well, guys, today is Mother's Day, and bright and early in the morning, and that's my mom. That is my mom right there. <sighs> Mother's Day is a day where you celebrate celebrate with moms for moms that done a great job on us kids and always been there for us. Now let me tell you guys, my mom has done a lot for me and my brothers. Well, actually, all this family, I can tell you that been there for me and took care of me very well and I wouldn't be the man I was today if it wasn't for her <laughs> she's a great mom I mean you guys have no idea how lucky I am there are times when she always, when I'm down and out my mom always makes me smile as a listen son I'm always gonna be here for you and if you ever need help you know I'm tell me I'll be there for you and <laughs> I was happy, and I was like, thanks, Mom. My mom always looked at me and said, hey, you're stuck with me. <laughs> Every time when she says that, she always makes me smile. There's a lot of great moments in my life that my mom has done for me that made me happy and make me proud to be her son. There are times that in elementary school, when we have school plays, my mom always goes to the afternoon, which is around the noon one, and always goes at night. It's like, geez, son, I be I go to your plays noon at night, and that was the best moment right there. And my dad usually works at night, so it it kind of helps a lot. And you know what? She always shows pictures and everything. It was like, wow, that was great. My mom is something else. <laughs> she has a crazy laugh like I do. I'm sure you guys have heard that before, and that's where I got it from. <laughs> My mom's side of the family has the funniest laugh ever. And I said, ah, oh, my mom's side of the family. I got that. And also, as you guys know, I was in a marching band from fourth all the way to my senior year. And I found out my mom actually played the saxophone. And I was like, wow, so I got my musical talent from you guys. Yeah. <laughs> you know what? My mom is the best. And the other moments I had with her was great. My mom would always take us... Me and my brothers to the movies. We always see free movies and things like that. There was one moment that I thought that was the saddest moment of my life was the day that I lost my godmother. The saddest moment was seeing my mom cry her eyes out for her sister. And my godmother was... I always celebrate that with her too. I was thankful to have a, a godmother like that and let me tell you she has been there for me since my birth and always hold me as a baby and let me tell you it was great my mom told me there was one time one moment that when she held me i said mama to her and she said she looked at me and said i'm sorry i'm sorry that she did that that he did that, he got that to happen. It was like, my mom literally said, it's okay. You've been there since birth. I mean, she, you've, you've seen her, seen me, he, she sees me a lot more than my aunts do, other aunts do. And, you know what? It was great. Every Mother's Day, ugh, every Mother's Day, my, uh, my mom, found out that she planted a garden and we actually had her plants and she has one, has one in, in her backyard and I always put a rose I always put a rose there I said happy Mother's Day I miss you a lot it's just she was 40 years old when she was gone and let me tell you it's just my godmother what meant a lot to me <laughs> there are times that you know, there was, there, there was one, I told my mom what, this before, and I've, the last time I saw her was about, I would say, three weeks ago, on, on back in 2006, when she actually came over and said, hey, I'm, I'm, getting, I'm just getting food for grandma and grandpa, I just want to come by for a short visit, and she said, hey, that was cool, and after that, it was on uh, Father's Day, Father's Day was the day that happened, uh, they went over to my aunt's, and I worked early in the morning, and 
I was too tired to go, and I I decided to go home and rest and take a nap. And um, three days later, I find out she was gone. I said to myself that, man, why didn't I, I wish I should have went. I, I would have seen her one last time. But you know what? I There are days that I wish I should have went there. And I told my mom told me that, hey, son, you, you never know. Look, things happen. It, it can happen like that. But don't feel bad. But she said that me and my brothers are the reason that we breathe. That makes her breathe so much. And it was a lot. Losing a sibling is one thing. Just getting over as another. And my mom just can't get over it. And God forbid, I don't want to lose my brothers. You know that. My mom has, you know, always kept positive. There are days that when she tries to be positive at some points, and she was able to handle it. But you know what? If you guys are wondering why I react to everything, it's because of her. You guys, I'm sure you guys might have remembered me a long time ago, back in 2014, that um, actually 13 to the 2014, that I had another channel where I was reacting to morning videos. I always react to it and leave uh, a comments at it. Those comments, I learned that from my mom. My mom always gave me great advice and everything and how things are in the world. I even talked, you know, as a kid, I talked to her about like what's happening on the news, talked about movies, television shows, everything. My mom always has an open ear for everything. And that's why I do it. If you guys are wondering why I react, is because of her. She uh, gave me the inspiration to do all these things. And I thank my mom for it. I even thanked my mom when I told her what I did. And she said, you got all that good advice from me. I gave you all those advice. And I was like, and I thank you for that, Mom. I couldn't have done it without you. My mom was proud, even though she was she's more proud of me that I have a job and I was able to handle myself and, take, and be able to be a responsible adult. And that it was a great thing. But let's get back to the moments right there. The, the great moments was, for me, was when she took us, took me and my brothers to the movies. And you got to laugh at this, but I don't care. She took us to go see Rugrats in Paris, the movie. The one thing that was sad about that movie was uh, Chucky was trying to get a, a mom, and we heard the song, I Want a Mom That Will Last Forever. When I heard that song, that I actually cried my eyes out because it was like, wow, that is a good song. And that was everything my mom was. You know, take my hand, make me feel like I'm special. If I had a bad dream, she she was always there. Sometimes it would be my dad. My mom actually got up and held me and said, it's okay. Nothing's going to happen to you. <laughs> my mom does all those things. All those things. Uh, but the last, it was getting close to the end. Charlie says, I want a mom who texts me in and I reads me stories and who loves me. And <laughs> right there, I actually cried. And my I was sitting uh, one seat away from my mom. I actually got up and gave my mom a big hug, and I cried. My mom actually cried her cr cried too. Both my brothers actually leaned in and just gave her a big hug. You can actually hear a lot of kids crying, knowing that their moms were there. And it was like, wow. You know, every Mother's Day, I, I, I made a video for her. I Every Mother's Day, I... Always send it to her, and it was the best. I would love to show it to you guys, but it has home movies and everything, and I, I can't show you that. But you know what? That shows how much my mom uh, meant to me, and it took a lot. It, it took me, like, two hours to do. I was going through my photo albums and everything and did all that for her, and she loves it. So every Mother's Day, I send her that video. Mom, I love you so much. And I, I'm not, and I wouldn't be the man I am today if it wasn't for you. You pushed me to be my best, and you never gave up on me. She, she, and she never does. She always says never. I would never give up on you. I'm proud to be your son, and I hope you have a great Mother's Day. Oh, 
<laughs> and also, don't forget, I have my godmother. I know she's up there watching me right now, and i like to say thank you for being there for me since birth. You were a great godmother. I couldn't have asked for anybody better. I have two, but I'm not getting the details on that. Trust me. My, this godmother is, uh, is way better. She loves me so much. She's there for me. She she was she's there every time we have a, I have a family function. She always sees me in my plays. Oh, before I end this, there's one thing. When I uh, when I was in the marching band, when I was in ninth grade. We had to go to uh, we had to go to a faraway city. It was Cupertino. Um, my mom said she she's not going to be able to be there because. Well, she she had the she had plans. She had to do some things with with my grandma, with her mom and dad. And um, I was a little upset. I was like, man, I can't believe it. This is gonna be my first performance, and she's not gonna be there. And then when I marched down the street, I I had peripheral vision. I, as I looked, I was like, well, I thought I saw my mom there. I was like, mom, is that you? I was like, oh, cool. And I asked, did you go to Cupertino? I said, no, why? It is because I just saw, I thought I saw you there. I could have swore I saw you there. And it was like, wow. You know, when you think about it, you know, you see your parents every single day. When you look out in the crowd, you kind of feel like they are watching you, no matter what. <laughs> you know, I'm proud to be her son. And she actually said, I'm proud to be your mom, too. <laughs> You're the, you guys are the reason that I breathe. There was one thing I actually did for her one time. I, um, when I was five years old, uh, we actually did an anniversary thing for my grandparents, and I was supposed to, I was supposed to sing Shower Me With Your Love by Surface. That was one of my favorite songs, still is today. To them, I actually was looking at my mom, and I sang it to her. My mom was like, no, no, sing it to him, sing it to them. And I kept doing that. I was like, I kept singing it to her. I was like, oh. <laughs> but there, and also fast forward to like 10 to 11 years we heard Boyz II Men's uh, the, uh, song for Mama I'm sure you guys have heard that we were driving in the car when that song came on me and my brothers were singing to her my mom cried her eyes out and she said thank you boys Thank you. And the next one was, I always love my mama. I was like, wow, mom, you really are spe you're special this time. And we kept singing. <laughs> and my mom was like doing this and everything. And we were dancing. We were having a great time. That was her, she said that was her favorite moment. But along, all through the years, we always try to do everything special for her. And it was great. Well, guys, I hope you guys have a good Mother's Day. Make sure you give your mother everything that she deserves. I always give her flowers. This time I'm going to change it up a bit. But <laughs> I, and I hope she loves it. But hey guys, don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more reaction for gameplay. Drop a like on this video if you enjoy this. Or just drop a like that you love your mother so much. Make sure you do that. Drops a lot of likes because hey, moms deserve it. And uh, I love my mom so much. And, I, and you guys know the reason why I react to things so much. Videos and such because of her, my mom. She always listens to my stories. I always tell her how I feel about things. And this is why I do it. Because she inspired me to do it and I love it. All right, guys. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to stay, stay positive and happy Mother's Day to all the moms out there in the world. And to two in my heart that I love the most.